Val Fitch was a young recruit assigned to the plutonium or fat man bomb. Without modern electronics or computers, Fitch and his colleagues had to figure out how to simultaneously detonate the lenses around the plutonium core. Fitch went on to become a Nobel Prize winning physicist. When you're detonating explosives in such a way as to, as to uh, produce a, a shockwave, spherical shockwave going inward to compress, in this case, plutonium to a critical point. And timing of all these explosive lenses is all important. I was very much involved in developing the timing apparatus for measuring when the shock wave passes a certain point. We developed the electronics for doing that and, uh, and also made some of the measurements. The challenges of the task were enormous, as atomic bomb expert John Coster Mullen explains. When you think back on it now, that whole design, uh, you know, it was, it was pie in the sky. I call them garage bombs or glorified science fair experiments. They didn't know if any of this was going to work. And this was all a big, giant experiment. And each of these individual components had to work perfectly. Uh, the primary thing were the detonators all going off within a microsecond of each other. The fact that they got it down to a microsecond, which is a millionth of a second, simultaneity between these things, and you look back on that now and it's, it's absolutely stunningly remarkable that they were able to do this.